the Gem Empire. An empire that spans across hundreds of star systems and conquering thousands of worlds, with an army that can obliterate entire civilizations. On the last episode, Steven's party managed to discover an alternate version of Pink Diamond, for some reason. This pink managed to get into their reality through unknown means, but had a heartwarming bond between the two like mother and son. As the two bonded, Pink tells her story. The tale of how she ruled Homeworld as the supreme gem matriarch. In this alternate reality, Homeworld conquered Earth but was ruled peacefully, and the lifeforms that inhabited it were protected under the rule of the Gem Empire. Year 3 was founded after the creation of the next generation of diamonds, of course. Delegating all ruling function to the last year one diamond is taxing, and too much of a handful to be done by just a single ruler. So the other works were delegated to the newly formed diamonds in terms ranging from military training, technology research, ecological studies of organic life forms, fusion research, and party planning. Out of all of these tasks, only one task is what Pink is most hesitant to give to the other gems, taking care of baby universe. As Black first lay eyes on the tiny human for the first time, she can't help but poke at it. A soft, fragile, willing organic hybrid, made by the great matriarch herself. A new description came to mind for the little creature. Simply adorable. Pink. Being the leader of an entire race needed to attend the interplanetary campaigns, but she can't just give the baby to Greg, since Greg is busy on his world to run Earth. Pearl is the best option for the job, but she is busy with her own hybrid human as well. So she is generally out of the picture, even if Bismuth is around. Two babies are a handful. Given Garnet is busy taking care of the gems on Earth. As for Amethyst, well, Amethyst requires a babysitter as well. The remaining option left was to leave it to the other diamonds, Black. Being the stalwart of the year three diamonds, she accepted the task of taking care of the baby. Black has huge respect for Pink and of old homeworld's proud history that spans countless eons since the first ancient beings of light came into existence. Pink held the entire race together through sheer charisma and brute force. In Black's mind, her tasks are too important, and to be unable to help her is no short of disloyalty. This is the first time such a task troubled Black. She defeated eldritch beings, conquered worlds single-handedly, and unlocked every easter egg on grinding RPG simulator. But never in her long life she had faced taking care of human infants. So, the Black Cloak Giant headed to ask aid from the other diamonds. First on the roster is Red Diamond. Red is assigned in controlling Homeworld's armies. She specialized in training the soldiers into becoming an effective fighting force on the battlefield. Although most gem warriors are made for war, Red believes in the warrior spirit, something that she got from watching too much Lonely Blade reruns from the universe household. She may be an effective commander, but she doesn't have the subtlety of simply taking things in a calm manner. The tiny diamond beside Little Universe is Champagne Diamond, the smallest of the diamonds. She is tasked in organizing events and parties for the whole diamond courts when there are no celebrations to partake in. She spends her time assisting Red on her battle campaigns on conquering star systems. She acts as the other motivator for the troops when brute motivation doesn't work, while instructing the soldiers on their next battle tactics. A giant shadow creeped behind Baby Universe and Champagne. A crystalline beast emerged ready to attack the unsuspecting child. In a swift and brutal swing, a massive hand slammed onto the crackling face of the monster. Red is thus victorious. The baby was displeased and started to cry again. Black, being heated by Pink that the baby should be kept happy, concluded that these two are obviously not very helpful in making this baby happy. So she moved on to the next sector of Homeworld. Perhaps she can find aid on more methodical compatriots. Someone like Green Diamond. Accurging to Amethyst Green is the nerd you need in getting things done quickly and efficiently. Maybe this time. Someone who is really smart can unlock the secret in calming the little hybrid. Green is the diamond assigned to develop Homeworld's technological advancements. Black asked Green to help her with the baby. Green joyfully accepts the task. Though the nerdiest of the bunch, Green is the most reliable when it comes to all things tech. But at times she asks aid from the other diamonds. The most reliable to Green was Black Diamond. Not only for her usefulness in solving gem equations, but she feels more kinship to Black. Which is why she is more receptive in helping her in any task she asks of her. But there is one fork on the road. Green is too methodical and lacks any kind of way of connecting with the baby. So the baby simply cried the whole time. Green at that point suggested to put her on a noise-canceling chamber filled with the blue diamond clouds. But Black declined the proposed solution, since it was stated by Pink Diamond that the baby must have close interaction with a person. Stated that this is a crucial time for the baby's psychological growth. And besides, 
Who in the right mind puts a newly made hybrid on an isolation chamber? And so another failed attempt. Black has two more diamonds to ask. Purple diamond and orange diamond. They are an inseparable pair to one another. A power couple in the year three landscape. Their relationship reflects the task that was given to them by the Supreme Matriarch. These two are in charge of fusion research. They are tasked to train gems the ways on how to effectively fuse with one another. And finding the best compatible partner to become one with. This is a way to improve the bonds of gems from all sectors of the empire, either through military strength, or through strengthening their capabilities and their tasks on certain aspects of homeworld's infrastructure. One problem arose from these two diamonds. They lack the attention span to concentrate on taking care of the baby. Another sad attempt. Sitting on the old ruins of the old homeworld's many buildings. Black contemplates on what to do next. Never in her life had she met a more formidable task. But this is no foe. Nothing more but a small child that cannot be reasoned nor tamed. What was she lacking that will quell this baby's unrest? What is she doing wrong? She had done everything that a diamond can do in her power. What can she do if this child is asking more? What is beyond a diamond that can make this all right? Then someone came out. Someone that Black haven't seen in a while. The boy lifted baby universe in his arms. Tears stopped flowing from the baby's eyes and fell silent. She was docile calm, with a hint of relief. Black finally has found help. And his name is Steven. Baby Universe. Also known as Nora Universe. This started to change from a state of distress to a more cheerful persona. Steven Universe, the favorite amongst the year three diamonds, was neither given any task by Pink Diamond to command neither army nor division was able to solve something so alien to Black yet so simple a task as to taking care of a baby. What method had he done? Was it magic? Who knows? Only he knows. Later that day Black and Stephen had a long discussion of the day's events. Stephen explained that no magic or any manipulation is involved in calming baby Nora. Stephen plainly pointed out one crucial flaw on Black's way of handling Nora. Black handled Nora like she's some obstacle that she needs solving in turn. Nora has the initial impression that she's being rejected. Thus stop making her more upset. Babies by nature seek attention and love. They don't concern themselves with anything more complicated than that. Stephen once more picked up Nora and passing it on to Black. Black being too fearful of having the same failed outcome, insisted that it is best that Stephen handle this. Stephen insisted that it's best to start bonding with baby Nora stating that you will not be around all the time to take care of her. Just open yourself to Nora and treat her like any person, except her as one of your own, Stephen said to Black. Black slowly held the tiny soft baby into her arms. Baby Nora is giving the same joyful reaction as she did with Stephen. Black's shoulders unbuckle. Her tenseness subsided. For the first time, she feels less methodical and more familial. Prime Universe Once Pink was finished with her story, Stephen was even more excited to know more about the side of her mother. But there was one nagging question comes to mind. How did she get into this world? Then Pink responded. One thing led to another. Our ships are in pursuit of a certain ship and the next thing you know. We stumbled into this universe. And we are looking for someone as of now, she said. Who were you looking for? Replied Stephen. Pink hesitated briefly and responded. I am looking for my daughter, Nora. Nora Universe. Thank you for watching my videos. Your support means the world to me. Also, special thanks to these lovely people for donating. If you like to support my work in this channel, you can check out my Patreon page. Link is in the description. Every support, no matter how big or small, will help this channel grow and help us make more better episodes for you guys. So, for those who donated on my Patreon page, you can suggest any episode request you like. Then I make the episode come true on my YouTube channel. It could range from ships to character cameos, anything you like to see on one of our future episodes. 
I really appreciate all your support. You fans are the best.